Well, I want to show you what we actually do when we do tear duct surgery. So these are the tear ducts. There's a, a small opening in the lower lid and an opening in the top lid. And those two join into this common system that's within your nose. So that's really how your tears um, leave your eye. Your tears are made in this big gland over on the side. And uh, then they enter your eye here. They leave your eye towards the nose. So usually if you have a blocked tear duct, it's blocked in this area here within the nose. So number eight is where it usually blocks off. And this whole system actually narrows down. And when it narrows down, the tears have trouble um, leaving the eyes. So what we do with this transnasal DCR is we actually go into the system and we're able to stretch um, this narrowing. And we can do it either using a balloon to widen it or manually through the nose we're able to widen the system. So this is what the surgery looks like after the operation and you can see in the corner the little tube between the top and bottom lids and that is right there. That little piece of silicone tubing looks like um, spaghetti between the upper lid and lower lid and this continues on into the nose and we'll take it out after about three months.